hello everyone welcome to code crafters lab so today we are going to see the optimal version of highest occurring elements in add array uh, from the basic hashing section from the tf plus so before that uh, please subscribe to our channel we'll be coming up with the entire tf series here and also uh, with a lot of uh, like the questions from the lead code also we'll try to cover the uh, basics of java as well here so moving forward so let's see the uh, uh, problem again so it is like a we are given with an array of an n integers and what we need to do we need to find the most frequent element in it and the element that uh, occurs the maximum number of times basically okay and if there are multiple elements uh, we have to return the smallest amongst them if there are multiple elements which are occurring uh, like the uh, same number of times in that array then we have to return the smallest amongst them okay so we have seen this example here 1 2 2 3 3 3 uh, 3 is occurring 3 times which is maximum so that's why output, output is 3 so let's try to see whether we can optimize it or not so what we can do is here uh, in this particular example what we can do is let's see uh, we'll take one array array okay this is the array one two two three 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 okay so what we can do here is like maintaining one hash map something similar to hash map and in this hash map so we'll try zero one two and three so why three three is the maximum amongst this and what we can do is like uh, find out the maximum out of this array and do a plus one and that could be your hash map size okay this is simple right then what we need to do is like we need to iterate through this array and try to put the count inside hash so this is like a these are nothing but a numbers from the array numbers which are occurring in the array right this can be max max 3 till max 3 uh, because we know 3 so all the numbers will be below 3 and uh, that many numbers can be a present they they can be present or not since 0 it is not present in the array but we have to take it right and what we'll do we'll go to uh, like iterate through this array at 1 what we'll do we'll put 1 at 2 what we'll print will put its count 1 then again 2 will do 2 to 1 to 2 okay then uh, we'll move to 3 we'll put count as 1 then this 3 will put count as 2 then this 3 will put count as 3 after this what we'll do we will iterate through this hash map and find out the highest occurring number basically this is the number that we want to find out right and once we find find out this number we can find its its index also right index is nothing but the numbers in the array and that we want to return so index is nothing but three that we want to return so this is how we can uh, optimize this basically in earlier example what we did what we did we we were traversing through the array like we were taking one number and then again traversing through entire array and that way we were maintaining the max count and the element for which we have encountered the max count right this this was the one for loop and this was the second for loop so here in the optimized solution we don't have to iterate through the uh, like the array multiple times that is not required why because we are maintaining it in the hash map and we will iterate through the array only once okay so let's try to write the pseudo code for this so what we'll do we'll maintain one max count okay one max count as zero then we will maintain max element it is nothing but element right we'll mark it as minus one then uh, what we'll do we will do one hash map and its size can be the maximum maximum can be the size right and we will iterate to the zero maybe at the first okay and after that what we'll do is like we will do one for loop so for will go from i equal to zero to n 
okay and inside this what we'll do uh, this hash map uh, we will like hash map what we'll do we will put inside it what we'll put inside we'll put num nums of i nums of i okay nums of i is nothing but the it is nothing but the this is array of i okay i am taking it as nums because our uh, like the input array name is nums okay and what we'll do we'll do uh, what we'll do uh, we will do inside this uh, what we need to do is like we need to uh, like put the uh, number of occurrences for this it can be it can be what it can be uh, the number can be occurring at the first or maybe we have to increase the count right so there is one uh, function called as get or default okay get or default so what we'll do mpp mpp is nothing but my hash map name so we can do it as a mpp not hash map dot put but mpp dot put okay mpp dot get or default get or default is kind of a method in java okay get of default of nums of i nums of i comma zero plus one so it will increase if it is present otherwise like it will add as one if there is two it will make it as three okay so that we need to do that is uh, how we will get the this array basically at the end hash uh, like our hash map basically with the indexes as our uh, array numbers and the count okay after this what we need to do is like we need to uh, we need to iterate through this hash map so iterate through this hash map okay uh, so you can iterate it so what we will do we will iterate through the map now right so for that also we will use one for loop and like iterate through map so map uh, it maybe and uh, we'll do mpp dot get entry set okay uh, so this is how we can uh, iterate through the map so every iteration will get it dot get key get key and it dot get value okay value is nothing but our count of that element and it dot key is nothing but the element itself okay so after getting the element and uh, getting the key what we need to do is like we need to compare right so what we need to compare is like whether the count is greater than the current max count okay what we'll do if count is greater than max count max count okay if it is we'll update the max count to count okay and also we'll update the max element max element to element right and there is one more condition where both are uh, like if they are matching right what what is matching uh, if count is matching in two elements we have to take the smallest of them so what we need to do is like if if count equal to equal to max count then in that case what we need to do we need to update only element so max element we have to update sorry max element equal to mat dot mean basically mat dot mean of mat dot mean of max element existing max element or element whatever is the smallest and after this we'll close this for loop and we'll return what we'll return we'll return max element right so this is how the code looks and uh, let's try to like write it down maybe and then we'll see the time complexity as well so time complexity is simple so time complexity is nothing but so how, how many loops we are using this is the one loop then this is the one loop it is nothing but two loops so two into o of n mostly we are uh, like on worst case it will go till n it will go till n so two into o of n not, nothing but o of n okay and space complexity is o of n only because 
this hash map is the only thing that we are using and it can contain max all the elements from the array right so let's try to like write it down so i'll, I'll just go to the code editor okay so what we'll first do int n equal to nums dot length okay this is my array length okay then what we'll do we'll take one max count int max count sorry int max max count equal to zero right int max element also max element equal to minus one okay this is my initialization then what we'll do we need to take one map map and it will have key as integer and value as integer mpp equal to new hash map this is our map initialization then for int i equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus so we need to insert values into our map okay so mpp dot put then what we need to do nums of i this is my index then nums of i mpp dot get or default this is the method inside that nums of i okay comma zero and plus one okay this is how we'll get our hash map ready with the count and like the values in the array after that what we need to do we need to iterate through the hash map so what we'll do map map dot entry okay map dot entry and integer comma integer okay and what will do it equal to mpp dot entry set okay so this is how you can iterate through the map so it is the variable using that you will get get uh, value and get key okay so then what we'll need to do int element so current element uh, in the it it dot get get key okay get key then int uh, int count current count equal to it dot get value value is our count right get value after that what will do if count is greater than max count then we'll update both max count equal to count and max ele max element that we have taken right max element equal to element right and one more condition if count is equal to equal to max count then in that case we'll update only the element max element equal to mat dot minimum of both so max element max element and r element so minimum of both of them after that we'll close this for loop and return return max element let's try to run this class interface or enum expect what happened is there any extra curly braces or what yes it's accepted let's try to submit it yes we have submitted it and if we do the analyzing time complexity is O of n uh, space is also O of n we have seen that right time complexity is O of n and space is of it okay thank you for watching